In this short video, we'll guide you through fixing the Starfield Vulcan error. Stay tuned for simple solutions to get your game running smoothly again. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Update graphics drivers. Outdated or incompatible graphics drivers are a common source of Vulkan errors. Keeping your drivers fully updated ensures maximum compatibility. Verify game files. If Starfield's own game files become corrupted, it can trigger Vulkan errors on launch. Verifying will restore any damaged files. If you're playing on Xbox app, click the three dots next to Starfield. Select Manage, Manage Installation. Click Verify to check for corrupt files. The app will re-download any missing files. Update Windows. Keeping Windows completely updated is key for proper Vulkan support. Old Windows builds can have buggy implementations. Disable Overlays. Software overlays from apps like Discord, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, OBS, or Xbox Game Bar can conflict with Vulkan. Rollback GPU Drivers If a recent graphics driver update is causing the Vulkan crashing, roll back to a previous stable driver version. So, open Device Manager, then Display Adapters. Right-click your GPU and select Properties. Go to the Driver tab and click Rollback Driver. Choose the version to roll back to. Adjust page file size. Having sufficient page file space is required for proper Vulkan functionality. Setting virtual memory too low can cause crashing. Right-click this PC, go to Properties. Then, Advanced System Settings. Under Performance, click Settings. Go to Advanced tab. Click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage and set both to 16,384 MB. Click Set, Restart PC. Perform clean install of Windows. If no other solutions resolve the persistent Vulkan errors, a clean install of Windows may be necessary as a last resort fix. First, backup personal files and game licenses. Download Windows 10 11 installation media and prepare a bootable USB drive. Boot into the USB and select Custom Install. Format your system drive. Install Windows cleanly onto the blank SSD HDD. Reinstall games, apps, and drivers. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm find and recommend this video to others.